Welcome to the Utrecht Mzarendo podcast. My name is Mwani Mwotem Wakiyama, the founder of Mzarendo Halisi Foundation. Mzarendo Halisi Foundation amplifies ordinary Kenyans doing extraordinary things. In this episode, we feature Isaiah Biwot, an activist from Kabalnet in Baringo. Isaiah speaks truth to power fluently. Tune in and listen to his story. Hi Zaya. Hi Mutemi, how are you? Yes, I'm Komzima Kabisa. Karibu to the Utu na Uzalendo podcast. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. And thank you for agreeing to, to come on short notice. And the Utu na Uzalendo podcast, you're highlighting Kenyans who go beyond the call of duty. Wengiwa wa mejituma. And uh, you will tell us your story. Nyo wa Kenya wa kujue. First, utaji introduce wambie who is Zaya. Itoka wapi, mezaliwa wapi. Na ulisomea wapi, lafu tuendelea. Thank you. Asante mutemi. Mimi, eh, naitu Isaiah Biwot Kanguwen. China ingine nye ijulika ni sana ni Kanguwen. Lakini... Mm. Hiyo hata sijai isikia. Eh uh, ni mm. kwa ID yeah. imeandikwa Isaya Biwot Kangoni lakini in short um the enormous Isaya Biwot. Yeah. Um I was born in several years ago 1976 in Baringo County. Baringo North. Mali naitwa Parwesa around like up Narok. Yeah so we have that in that community we are pastoralists. Sini leo watu kuchunga ngombe. Uh, I went to I went to school class one in 1985 kwa nursery school. So oh, wale wale kujishika masikio hivi. Yeah, hiyo sasa hiyo. In 1985 I went to class one uh-huh. and I proceeded and then I think I 1993 I joined the Kabarnet High School. And then 1996 Six, nikamaliza nikaitiwa Mazena University and i didn't want to be a teacher oh you do kusomesha yeah i didn't want to be a teacher so nikaenda kidogo nikadifa nikakuja another college hapa Nairobi inaitwa Kenya School of Monetary Studies i joined the accidental alafu nikafanya course in banking and finance and then ka ingayo sector kidogo but but uh, after that nika nikafanya some several banks hapa Nairobi alafu nika rudi Baringo ka join our sako inaitwa Poresha sako tikwa Baringo teacher sako by then lakini now it's a Poresha sako i worked there doing some work kama credit i rose through the maka after some time uh, I, they retained us and we went to other microfinances and then uh, the other interesting about Mutemi that I, I tell you all all through in the community that I came from from primary they could say a uh, controversy was part of me because uh, I think in primary I started you know those years walimu walikuwa na wao wasichana they could defile the young girls so and you could not touch a teacher by then that was the teacher was the king the teacher was the king walikuwa na defiling wasichana ile wamemea matiti nobody could question it so some of us were whistle blowers we could talk it out and i think they called us trouble makers because uh, nobody could question the teachers mm. kichwa ngumu kichwa ngumu eh those things they could tell us we are rude because sometimes mwalimu kukuchapa na unaona you defend yourself times when as a kuta me go pick another na mwalimu just because not because you are a bad guy but because amekupiga tu na unaona this guy is oppressing you so like that 
Then when I went to Kabaneta High School, ngakuta kitu inaitwa monolization. Then kuna oppressive there was that bullying. I think I was among the first guys to discipline a senior student. Uli chapa kijana wa form 2. Chapa kijana wa form 2. I think one week after admission. Then we go expelled. Ah. Uh, I was not expelled. Uh, nilipata heshima because uh, the only the young boys could not bully me it's only the big ones who did <laughs> and then after that we, we with that i think that activism started all that those years ni kitu tulizaliwa nayo na ati si ate ilianza kwa inborn yeah it's inborn and it trans also in the family my father never went to school alikuwa kwa hii group ya kina maumau na just you could not question uh, mzungu but he was the first fellow to question wasungu kwa nini wanachukua mbusi moja kwa kila family kama tax every month so like ndio kuna mtu ange question dc mzungu you that so they call us family of uh, controversial people because if people were go copa si tunasema 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 hiki kitu ni mbaya think that is part of my life and then to mesali when i after being in this microfinance the gender sales and then i found ulikuwa na uza nini um nili nilikuwa kwa hii microfinance hizi ya kupeana loan hii group ya microfinance you know them several hii ya for 24 hours oh then from there nikiwa huko naona hapa watu wananyanyaswa so najikuwa loan ya 20000 na lipa 100000 I did not like it because uh, ila uongo na nini inatumika huko unaambia mtu ni 24 hours. But uh, alafu inaanza ku charge interest. Mtu ako na hope apate 24 hours lakini inachukua one week lakini kwa kartasi umeandikia 24 hours. So unaambia the management bana hapa tumeandika uongo kwa kartasi you go for marketing you cheat people that 24 hours. Mm. Can oh you start processing loans? Yes. And it's a process in 24 hours. Lakini it's not 24 hours takes even a week or two weeks lakini kwa wakati unaenda marketing you are unadanganyana kwamba you can give out loan in 24 hours so to me i did not like it that was like a sales gimmick you get yeah. people to sign on yeah so i did not like it but because i needed the job eh? uh, i had to do it and after some time the end of solar this uh, delight uh, solar started like that marketing also we did like that after some time i just found myself in this uh, space of civil society kumbe kuna watu wananiangalia huko nje nasema this guy because he can do it well in this athlete so there was a day uh, kulikuwa kuna maandamano then i also fell it was good for me I joined it because what was happening was wrong ebu ebu kuja tutarudi hapo hapo kwa maandamano because I, i i know i know what you've done in uh, in baringo and especially cabernet uh, but i wanted to ask um, just to go back to you, your earlier story uh, so umezaliwa baringo north most people don't know about baringo north unajua central because baringo north central is very very famous of course you gave us a uh, uh, second place moi How is it being from Baringo North compared to Baringo Central? In Baringo North, eh? iko mara mbili. Baringo North kuna the higher side Kabarto Njomale Moyo alisoma. Hapo masomo ilifika anga hapo. Hapo ndio hapo ndio iko ma professor. Lakini mimi sitoki hapo natoka kwa Fale. Sisi ni watu wa kuiba eh, kuchunga ngombe. Everybody <laughs> na hizi <laughs> jojo eh tuli tulika kwa hiyo community i think and munaiba hiyo vitu i but by the way Kat, I, kato i participated in one now so in form 2 it was so, part of your cultural activity yeah to uh, so when i was in kabaneta high school eh eh kulikuwa na pocket community living across elgeyo so walikuwa na usanga maziwa hii side ya baringo so april holidays nikaenda wakati tuko nyumbani holidays tukakuta vijana wanasema eh ile wapokote 
wanatuibia so what let's infer them tunyanganye mbusi na ngombe so i think that is the first time i nilianda kuiba raiding the neighboring community so i went there mulikuwa na na AKs ama mulikuwa na we never we had harrows AK saiko imefika sana AK ilifika maybe one or two fellows of nine lakini most of us to atuko na because we were young men kwa na harrows poison the harrows we fed it to go we have a power them magatoroka the men ran away uh, women and children waga wakatoroka wakaenda ka kambi kidogo wanaume walichikawanya ile mbuzi na ngombe yote hata sisi wengine tulikosa wanapewa mbuzi moja mwishie watu wawili <laughs> so after that I think most of my colleagues are going to school. For you in that community that was expected, isn't it? Uh, you was going to say mwengi are going to school. You know, wakati tulianda kutairiwa kama wanaume. Part of the curriculum is ukitoka unachitafutia sasa you are different from your father. You are a different entity sasa. Sasa umekuwa mwanaume lazima ujitafuti. Kujitafutia part of the curriculum you read read ni sinomo great na kuiba ngombe na mbuzi it's not a sin huko ni mtu mwenye ameenda kuiba na mbuzi na ngombe hiyo ni mwanaume ile mtu mwenye ana chochote na kaa tu hapo atrene as even women will not even want you you want that courageous guy you can stay in fed the neighboring community maiba una leta sasa anasema yeye ni mwanao So I Which explains why up to today it's going on. Yeah, it's going on. And in Baringo North uh, where I come from it's where we put border El Gay Marakwet. It's still part of the culture. But now imebadilika sasa. Vile inafanyika imebadilika. It's now done in the modern way. Unajua ka trust lingu ko. Sili ya samani imebadilika imekuwa biashara sasa hata imbuzi mnagulanga hapa zinatokanga huko na inaibiwa so apart from the community sasa imekuwa linked from grassroots to decorate hapa Nairobi so imebadilika so na kuna sasa it's funded now by business people yeah it's a lucrative business it's a network it's happening so um the, the Baringo North is iko mara mbili iko there so kulikuwa kabaratojo where the pres- former president went alisome hapo ndio masomo ilifika kwanza uh, uh. na kanisa ndio ilibidi sasa wewe utoke kwenu uende ukasomee kabarne. Nilisomea kabarne ta kuna shule huko kwetu. Ile mashule iko tu ni ile ile shule kidogo. So high school ile mzuri ni kabarne, kabartonjo na hiyo ingine tulikuja kusomea. All associated with the former president. Yeah, tulichangwa vizuri na former president. I think education ilikuwa established the kabarne ni kabartonjo in NL Maravini in Baringo lakini all the other parts the low parts of Baringo North Baringo South mali unasikia sahi iko pande 3 masomo ilifika juzi other sahi bado 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 masomo yajafika huko so some of us we are lucky pokot eh ah bado iko ngum bado iko juu pokot uko pande ya kapenguria they are quite masomo iko yeah masomo ilifika kapenguria you know kata kenyata alifungia huko masomo ilifika huko lakini the pokot ya tia ya Baringo unajua kuna pokot mara mbili the west pokot na Baringo ya TRT so the west pokot is a bit advanced masomo ilifika lakini ya Baringo bado hata sasa hivi ukienda huko bado utapata wasichana wana anything I think when you have time one time you can visit there you just people still wear the traditional eh, wasichana gold go kwa kwa gems ah ah gems iko baringo south lakini il gems ni sub tribe ya masai lakini wenye wanaishi baringo el gems at least in advanced tech dogo lakini still in some bad they still pf share the same practices ya great my baringo communities so um baringo north and baringo generally moya li ali chenga the, the the central part el la maravin kaka in institutions like in the lower part iliwacho that is why in Kenya today where it's so militarized in Baringo Baringo South 
TRT and bad bring on that we still have problems makasa hii hata there's a time at a, i don't know uh, in this the last regime kuna wakati pia mpaka KDF ilikuwa deployed na ikafika mahali hata wangeweza kutoka kwa ile kampu walikuwa huko hawezi you know mutemi the young men there never got any education sasa wewe ukileta hii kijana mwenye amekula bluba Nairobi na unabeleka huko ulipeleka mbakasa akajifunza bunduki for nine months apigane na jamaa alichua bunduki akiwa baby they cannot come and they have courage i thought kidiki ametoboa hawezi hawezi you cannot win a war with pokot kwa kupigana nao they are very good in it in their own territory yeah they are very good uh, you know the territory you no know, baringo is ni kama ni nje kubwa ni it's a very large ni kama size ya hata kubwa kuliko Rwanda hata mimi kuna mahali mimi naona kwa tv lakini sio part of baringo sijafika slash so uh, that is the story of baringo So, so you uh, think education would make a difference to these education, young, young, uh, uh, mostly young men isn't it yeah most young men you cannot win the, the only thing would can change those people siku pelaga military uko they cannot win the war ni kupelaga in kupelaga education and good roads uko hakuna barabara uko wajui wajui anaonanga anaona serikali kama enemy No, no. They see as you know uko wako na serikali yao. But they still have MPs and CDF na nini? No, they, those ones don't work. Because ukiwa MP huko, you have to behave like them so that upate kura. If you call against them, they'll always the. Hata kama kuna CDF, kuna accountability. What is that CDF done? What is it used for? Could there's a there's a room at CDF I think ni one of those MPs alikuwa anatumia kuam our young people wanasemanga hivyo but uh, what i can say is idea vuko it's it's uh, inatumika na MP vile anataka no most of those uh, counties are going accountability so the, the most of them the fellows who have built this Nairobi hiyo pesa ya huko build some good houses up uh, uh, the beautiful houses you see in Karen belong to our people there so but in the community akuna hiyo institutions so how did you end up uh, living Baringo North ukapeleka kabali na tuchis Baringo South high school how did you is it how did you end up no uh, because you know uh, Kabarne High School was a premier school there Sacho and Kabarnet So kipita vizuri unakuwa admitted kwa hizo mashule mzuri. So that is how I find myself there in Kabaneta High School. Which moi was the patron. Eh na tukaendelea. Yeah. How do you see that change your life if you did? It it changed my life because your exposure I just it you know it changed my life because your masomo ili padilisha vile nafikia because mimi nilikuja town let me tell you mtemi mimi sikuwa nimefaa kiatu kama hii ilikuwa na kala unaona kala ile ataya ile ataya so wakati nilikuwa na letwa from one to the track for around 50 kilometers mm. mpaka kabarnet mgu mku so hata gari ilikuwa kuna barabara na mzazi ama eh, nakadian ah nileta kufika huko nikanunua kiatu yangu ya kwanza So unaona kwa town kuna hii drainage ya sewage. Sasa mimi sikuwa najua hata ni chafu. Nikanulea kiatu yangu, niliwacha kala yangu siku cha nayo nilikanyaga mguu. Kakuja nikaosha mguu yangu kwa ile sewage. Kifaa socks. Naenda shule. Yeenda shule. And then kitu kama mkate tulionjea shule, mkate alikuwa tumekula. <laughs> Uliona uko the first time. Alikuwa kwa pande zote school moja alikuwa analetanga na all the time that was what you enjoy so and then now my also you can't talk about liquor because uh, you know to go to nafikia maisha ni kama huko kwetu kumbe there is another wow unakuta it's it's called it's actually it 
we use it in movement building ambapo uh, tunaongea juu ya hardship na grievance ambapo kama umezaliwa huko Baringo North na hiyo ndio ile maisha ushaye unajua hujaiona maisha mengine huwezi kuwa na grievance kwa sababu hata ukiangalia kila mtu akanaishi the same E, kama kuna mtu wako na nyumba kubwa pengine kuna mtu wako na nyumba ya mabati lakini kila mtu wako na nyumba ya nyasi lakini hakuna ile aspiration you you don't know anything better but the minute you exposed to now high school and Baringo South na unaona sasa uko Kalban Netiko town then of course your perspective changes i don't know how how that was for you yeah it changed after after kuona vile watu wanaishi Kabarnet na vile watu wanaishi huko kwetu wa different so sasa ukirudi holidays now fellows could come anakuja karibu na wewe unaelezea watu vile kabarnet inakuwaga and they could listen to you because sasa wewe umeenda mbali bana umefika kabarnet you can tell people vile makari na kimbianga vile kuna stima eh yeah. <laughs> kwa kuna stima na vija switch na maji natoka kwa fridge eh yeah. yuko hakuna hujaiona hiyo vitu So and you know the, the the thing is at this time yeah you're, you're talking about mid 80s yeah uh, was, you went to high school uh, and you went high school 93 that was 93. early 90s eh? so that was the at the height of Moi's presidency yeah and power yeah and i'm talking about baringo yeah and you're saying sections of baringo at a stima maji ya mjaiona hapa saa hii ukienda kuna ili change to kidogo when kipaki alikuwa president thing a program ya rural electrification as idea viganza ku change face hata hiyo mashule ya kwetu huko ilikuwa ya matope no mashule ilikuwa chuni mapati lakini round na matope so sisi tulikuwa tuna smearing every wasasi wanakuja mm. oh, like a community the, project yeah community project there was solidarity by then which is lacking today parents were responsible solidarity na leta unakuja kuleta maji tunakuja kusimia and then when kipaki became the president sasa hiyo vitu tunasidia vikakuja sistema ikaanza kuingia huko alafu kuna improvement ya yeah, infrastructure pole pole we saw changes then things changed tukaanza kuona tv tv ya kwanza tulikuwa tunaona i think niliona great wall ilikuwa 90 i'm sure you never know ni kwa nani kuna jama moja kuna jama moja alinua create wall eh ile red eh ile ilikuwa inaweka screen yeah ilikuwa black and ilikuwa black and white lakini inaweka ka screen na ka color yes yeah ile ilikuwa na na shit na ndio so ni one person alikuwa nayo kwa anatumia solar si solar ta petri then tunilikuwa tunalipanga one book kwa kuna this so that is how it was yeah I mean that's that's the there's a reason why I'm focusing on that because you know uh, a lot of people see you see us yeah. later in life what we become but the story of where we come from usually it's untold but when we, they don't talk about the real stories uh, and if you look at uh, the current president na the stories of selling chicken na nini yeah and you are people know how to create stories yeah. but they are the real stories yeah, yeah. real stories yeah so um watu umetoka mbali so umetoka huko yeah umesoma umeajiliwa in the finance industry unauza vitu alafu unaanza kukua disaffected Una, unaona ile kazi unafanya and you fanya sales mkudanganya unadanganya yeah watu Uh-huh. Yeah that is what I didn't it. like because uh, you njoo kudanganyana unaambia mtu you 24 hours and then ina inachukua wiki mbili mpaka uh, hata nyingine mwezi because unaambia imekuja Nairobi inataka kuwa approved this you inangoja nini lakini uliambia mtu ni 24 hours na alikuwa na emergency yeah emergency kuna hiyo guiltness ya yeah. you feel guilt that umedanganyana you see what you are doing is not right but unaambiwa na your employers eh uh, you have to stick to the policies we pay our targets we pay our targets we hand by commission so the more you lie 
Na kuweka watu kuna itua closing of the sales. And you, that is how you hand your commission. Yeah. And live like that. So mm, that is that is how I didn't like it. And then as time goes, kuna vitu mingi tulikuwa tunafanya in a small way. So as you're doing this, you're also doing other things. Yeah, tunafanya vitu zingine. Tulikuwa kwa social movement bila sisi kujua. Najua wakati hatuko kazi tuko kwa community tunafanya vitu ya eh, community tunasikiza mashida za watu nini. But this I yo say yo code bajingo south and north. Umerudi north. Nilirudi Kabarnet. Uko so uko Kabarnet. Ume... Yeah, nilirudi Kabarnet. Yeah. Because uh, that is uh, where I, I was working. Uh, that is where the, my first employer alikuwa. And then kind of live so i nikaka town sasa unajua maisha ya town si na nikiendanga huko mashinani maisha ya town na mashinani si sawa still yeah so oh, there's a huge difference yeah there is a huge difference and then tukakutana marafiki kumbe wanaonanga ile kazi tunafanya and then they told us so what you are doing you are just a creative this small life. community jobs you are doing what were you, what were they yeah tuliko tuna mobilize uh, a community kwa hizi ma kusaidia watu wa wa sick eh tukakuwa volunteers kwa hizi vitu kama red cross hizo vitu kadu train train kidogo eh uh, then tukafanya vitu vingine mpaka tukaenda the political side tukaambia kwanza ya siasa i didn't tell you that after high school 1997 you know your third one multipartisan ilikuwa ina imeanza then that was the first time nilijua kana kati nilikuwa university chain university kidogo nilijua na na kana charity ngilu kati wa msani through through my former principal ya Kabanera High School who left alikuwa anaitwa Amos Kandie he was famous yeah that was the first guy you challenged him he could oh majana msichana yake you know that guy was the face of courage because nobody could dare more akuna yeah, so when can when can especially in baringo yeah when can he resigned from teacher service commission uh, and then he went to biashara and then he, i think he was also uh, sharing the same aspirations sama hapa kuna shi then amos got to introduce kina alijuana na kina charity ngilu kina orengo Uh, how did you come together with Amos tuli tuli tulikutanishwa na tanishwa na wa jamaa tu jamaa wengine walikuwa wameona ile spirit yeah. kwa nayo so ni ya opposition yeah, tukaka opposition tukakuwa <laughs> brand and rebels <laughs> yeah. so by then yeah. they could send us na jo kwa siku ya opposition ilikuwa kasi mbaya kitu mbaya sana ringo ilikuwa mbaya sana so kwanza tunaambiwa wameshikana na wakikuyu. Ona? Ile watu wanataka kupindua mzee. Kipage alikuwa charity ngilu. Kina kipaki. Kipaki akiwa DB. Naona hiyo. So Sa, it was charity such... ngilu alikuwa SDP. Basani yeah. ya ngilu. Yeah, uh, Social SDP. Democratic Party. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. I think uh, they came it was a very another students we got another students that work at you they even all going to go choma two of them were that are lepitan ko kusambaza leaflets and they all uh, two guns yeah they can you wanna pinga moy yeah so to go branded sasa sasa to go profile sasa negatively so kwa tuna fukuzo there was a famous land rover ilikuwa inaitwa Chika F621 yeye ilikuwa ya kufukuza ya DCI ya kutafuta dissidents <laughs> some of us were dissidents <laughs> and you just finished high school at that time i've just finished high school and then wakati ilikuwa moto sana election that was 97 ikakuja na ikakuja na Nairobi ikakuja na kaingia hiyo college siasa ikatulia so you are running away Yeah, I ran away because 
You know, even the community peer on honor and to buy. Because uh, how do you oppose that president? I saw my Shirikiana and I want to, and I say, Manga, what you enjoy? Kwanza by then, and I say, Manga, my Shirikiana and I want to kill you. I say, Kiku, you see, come as I am not going to say, man, what to buy on a dog to a museum, quite kitty. Yeah. So they provide us. We, we were not even safe, Kukagua. Kuko. We want to know what you care. No one did something uh, about the contrast between uh, where you're born in North and then coming to Kabarinet influence your your advocacy as activism? That is that is that is the bitterness that we had because I took on a barabara. Wakati watu wana tumia barabara mzuri si tunatembea 50 kilometers kwa mugu. Atembea na leather shoes 50 kilometers enye inzo laguna. Kifika maale unaenda, kuna blisters. Hakuna gari ilikuwa inaenda. You have to walk. So, there was some bitterness in us because tunaona, hii watu, they live well na situ na gavi baya. So, kukakuja na yo bitterness because we were bitter by the way. It felt marginalized. Because part of the Baringo North, the maale masoma ilianza, they walikuwa na lami na stima. Sisi in the fale, Atukuwa na jochote. So all the time, tu, atuna wana barabara, atuna stima, kuna mashule mbaya mbaya, we had no even high schools. So part of it, it was bitterness. Yeah. Of marginalization. So we felt bitter. Because we felt we were being marginalized. So it be, formed a part of uh, your, your rebellion. And most of our colleagues who were in the rebellion were when you were Lisoma. Yeah. So uh, education gave you exposure. Yeah. Uh, but also maybe the ability to communicate. So your your history uh ninety seven, Zoana comes, Okati Ko kwa kwa delay to know the their their lights mm, nani. No, the 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 one for the lighting systems ni here ni choose after that was two thousand and nine after Kutoka kwa financial sector and gave us sales. So when you started the uh, community work, that also the experience with the politics in this idea what uh, Yeah, you know, part of the things which shaped us is when we were being trained as salespeople. We could go to the community and teach people why solar power was sustainable and important. So it can fit the community so my first customers, that is where I could sell the lights. So uh, with that, I could work in the community. You know, dealing with uh, th- those uh, people who never went to school. Wakiona unauza kitu inye inawasa idea. Wakisha kutrust, wame kutrust. Yeah, those are no... That is the... Yeah. Bila tulianza ya kazi ya alafu sasa tuka after with time, some fellows identified us. And we got uh, training as human rights defenders. Tuka who, are these, who are these fellows? Yeah. Kenya Human Rights Commission? There is a, there is a fellow. Anaitua Akonakuru. Uh-huh. Anaitua Masese uh-huh. Kemunje. I know Masese. Masese? Sebjiji. Yeah, Masses and the Alini train identify. Eh, Najama ingine li trainee wana Kenya Human Rights Commission. Eh, currently ni debut speaker kwa Baringo County Assembly and I talk Kipruta Kimasop. Me with Kipruta and others, we are the first plan of uh, fire activists who rebel against the Moy. So to kakwa trained on that uh, on how to protect ourselves and personal security because we were doing it with a lot of passion. We were so rebellious. Maga to kambi wabana. Kuna kitu ya ito personal security. These guys can kill you. So to kanda to kakwa trained. And then now we started now like that pole pole. And now we started going to the community to train wengine in. In our so advocacy yetu. Kakuja. Kakuja ju. And we started having more people to join us. We started from Gabarnet. I love to kind of machine. Hele kazi 
said gimefanya baringo with the baringo county government ni, ni i mean in sensitization uh, especially after devolution they've trained the county county officers and the county assembly um il sinikazi gani mmefanya huko ile kitu tulifanya ya kwanza um, kwanza ilikuwa maandamano ile ilikuwa maandamano ile no, ile ilingoa governor the, the, the current governor you know ilingoa alienda first time alafu second time akangolewa alafu akarudi sasa juzi so uh, because of uh, report ya um, con- anaitwa nini control of auditor general report okay, yeah. misuse of public funds so when we got the document we were marked then we mobilized the community that pesa imeibiwa become a very big thing then uh, that is how to ka when you know organizing a very successful demonstration in kabarnet uh, and then the community joined us and that was enough to send somebody in the nyumba yeah so how did your experience in from the finance sector help you with community engagement especially around finance you know uh, my experience in the financial sector i could in, i can in, i could interrogate a financial report critically so that helped uh, me in in in, in, in going, when we are engaging the community to, uh, you use the reports and explain to the people what's uh, what's in the report and uh, in detail the community actually so kumbe to maybe wa pesa na bado uko na ile sales skills ya ku kuweza kuongea na watu yeah na lugha that, yao um, you know we've been trained as sales people you know we can articulate issues so well so that one also helped us in engaging the communities yeah so Uh, that background helped us to shape the way the community does things yeah i remember when, when i encountered you this a time we could me organize protest when uh, the police were our escort and then they came to is it they came to protect you or to no that was um here it was covid millionaires Uh, when we protest uh, against those fellows when yali bawile pesa ya covid you know uh, pesa ilibiwa tuka we organized it to then tukaambia police sisi tumekuja kupatia nyinyi notice atuombe nyinyi rusa then i think after uh, some time wakatuambia hakuna kufanya ilikuwa wakati wa covid hakuna kufanya maandamano it's illegal tukaambia wa no we are just seven and we are doing it and then i think they consoled it as we wana niambia bado mnaandamana kaambia yes commissioner ka current county commissioner akasema kama mtaandamana mosikuje ofisi yangu watu wasifikie ni maipa pesa elder iko kwa dogati aga so muende muandamane muelege ofisi ya governor then in the morning wakati tunaandamana they send policemen au kutu au kutumana kuja kutu protect walikuwa ndao kutupiga then ile ile kitu ilifanyika eh tulipata support ya wananchi so ikitaka walikuwa ndao kutupiga karibu na sokoni pingwa mama na wajamaa boda boda wakashika mawe when they wanted to arrest me and some other fellows i think And, this was caught on video eh? ya so wakashika wakati watu walishika mawe polisi wakaona itakuwa akli uh, i think out of that nini they, they, they just went away because it could have been so bad we had to bleed with the people kwamba msirushe polisi mawe because kesa uh, kwa ugatani into their protect yeah because <laughs> ingekuwa mbaya because um, you know those women they and those guys they see with the work we are doing we protecting them tunatetea anga especially most of the women some of them ni hawkers wamekuwa oppressed 
na wakipata shida wanakuja kwetu watu ya boda boda e, walikuwa wameshikwa shikwa ovyo ovyo wakipata shida ni kwetu so wakati wanaona tunaweza kushikwa you know they pass on on the evil peter so wanasema sasa tunapigana because kama wanashika si ile watetezi wetu and we have to fight we told them not to fight because uh, it could have been so bad to it could be ugly so tukaambia hawa sawa wacha wakitushika ni sawa lakini uh, muzi tu 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 si pikana because they can shoot they can even shoot us so they went so that was the uh, when we were uh, by then pesa mingi libiwa then billions billions na mbona wamemrudisha after all that um you know wana engine ndio wanarudishanga unajua wanaenda wakirudisha wanasema huyu amekula sana acha tuweke huyu naye wanasema hii amekula tu rudisha ile nyingine ile nyingine alikuwa badali kama hata alikuwa anatoanga kitu huyu atoi so i think that is the problem tunakwanga na wananchi cho wananchi ile mashida tuko nayo mtemi you you shown pick me pictures eh? umenyonyesha kama hiyo water project ambao ulikuwa unafuatilia hebu explain to me why wewe ndio unafuatilia water project na mkono wa elected officials uh, kuna MPs kuna MCAs why are you doing the work in my this? community tuko kario fale ya project vile ilikuja when there is this uh, oil company in Ito Talo oil walikuja waka walikuwa nadhaa kuchimba mafuta huko then uh, they came they used the force out of uh, the same thing we are doing we started that engagement to kambia wa kama mtachimba mafuta you mtachafua the sources ya maji na walichafua then when we started a community meetings to kambia wa maji na chafuliwa yenye ngombe inakunywa na nini the community waka revolt and then the tal waka after some time waka sema to silence this community eh akatuambia nao tukiwatengenezea ile maji tukaambia okay eh kama muda tutengenezea ile maji kuja na pipeline as part of CSR ni sawa then we did it kaandika hiyo ka proposal tukapata samani ikakuja then ile ya kwanza because waka skonda the community that, that you know when you're going to sumamia they came through county government of uh, department of water they skonda the 13 million maji ikufika kwa community ikaishia because ilikuwa maji ya gravity ikaishia kwa mlima ika allocate wa 5 million kakuwa skonda again ai kufika kwa community because it's an extension of pipeline of around 10 kilometers kuja chini hivi they located uh, another that is 5 plus 13 inakuwa 18 sio 18 yeah. wakaongeza 2.3 million ikafika community maji tukakunywa for some few uh, days Contra- kazi nyilifanywa pipes inawachana tukakosa maji it was substandard yeah So what uh, during public participation sasa next it we went for kasema tunataka ku repair ile kazi yote because to me insist no action had been taken against all those fellows because in account of us most of the companies when you know yao wana kula wote pamoja kula wote so when they are located around 1 million the other day we took charge to kasema we have to be the ones doing in, in taking charge So tukasimamia mwenye anafanya tunasimamia tukachipanga eh na hata community volunteers tunaochipanga tunasimamia so tumesimamia mpaka maji yamefika so tunafanya because nobody will do it tukiwajia the those fellows who are sitting in Gabarnet how that say here kulikuwa nionyesha sasa hii sasa hii yeah. picha ya maji ki yeah. imefika yeah imefika inatoka sasa iko kwa even in my own house niko na maji Najua ilizema siwezi nikaishi town 
Because wakati maisha ilikuwa ngumu, mutemi. You know, ile makosa inafanyika. Eh, watu nyo mesoma kama mimi. Wanawaja their communities to languish. Awana basic infrastructure, awana maji, awana nini. Padile kusoti an issue, wanawacha huko, wanakucha town. Wanakucha Nairobi kama hapa. Wanakucha kuchenga hapa, wanakucha kama hapa. So, unaenda nyumbani tu mazishi. Na no weddings. Unaenda wedding na mazishi. Unaenda na machi ya chupa. So, Actually, uh, and I know when you drive in those neighborhoods, mm. the only thing what you work you teach an image. Yeah. Even today, you can't get a tiati, pokotu wako. Wagi kusumamisha. Peleka maji kwa kari yako. Awataki kitu ingine. They need water. So, as human rights defenders, kama pado tunakosa maji kwa community, you know, it's a very serious issue. It's a very serious issue. Like, Kenya today part of Baringo Kenya on your way to TRT there is this company called uh, GDC Geothermal Development Corporation there is a pipeline extending 100 kilometers to a place called Silale ukikukulo daona Silale kuna pipe size chini that is a full river in a pita community na hiyo community awana maji na ni fresh water from um, Lake Baringo being pumped to being pumped 100 kilometers and along your stretch water on a march when i end anger on on a crack your pipe i could have to never must react with chinia my on a crack you are too to you but you but can apart as you can yeah so such such things happen in dignity it's, Indignity. it's indignity. It's, uh, Indignity. The people lack it. of uh, utu. Yeah, lack of utu. For, uh, water governments are companies. Companies are all near to you. GDC is parastato, isn't it? Yeah, it's parastato. They have not done it. We have tried to question them. Wana tuambia ati. Tuliuliza hawa kwa nina mpati watu maji na pipe bina pita. Na ni pipe kupwa za izi chini. Wana sema ati yo maji. Awa just certify for human consumption. No, no. Uko ina ne kuconsumia na nani uko ina ndani kwa lake ni chafu. Unajua hiyo lake ni fresh water lake eh. Sisi tunakunywa maji ya a bowl of stagnant water and we drink it. Sasa wanatuambia ile ingine ni mbaya. <laughs> it's like they don't want to give us the water. It's even as part of their CSR. So um the reason why we need to na we want to improve the lives of that the community we come from. That is why we can question, we can question their cooperation. What is the use of having elected leaders? Is higher. Kwa hiyo tu tajagua MPs na nini na ona kujia bunge ama county assembly ha tu tetei kama watu. What is the use? They. I'm no. just going through the system. It's system. It's a tradition of having them. But uh, they are all come oversight. They are not doing it. They just come, go to elections. The elections they go and leave us the same community. You know, it's like even 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 even, even uh, you telling you more is part of from that community. And he was the president for 24 years. Nothing changed. Malia will invest in the Malia on interests. Like that. Come on, interest stop our So they want to perpetuate uh, that, uh, what do we call, what to package in so that come on, it's the ruling class on a lot of the only or cool key cheap labor voters but the voting um voting population who can vote you mm. mm. without thinking yeah that Do is what after moi after mze moi then the son gideon became yeah the i think gideon, mp and then senator senator on a good and ill families at the uko village in the families too are correlated what Nobody will come from outside. And having interacted with some of them, 
tunasema sasa wewe ukielimisha hawa so watakuja wakupinge so they know so wachana na so wakae vile wanaka so that we mutemi leo ukienda na hii uchuaji yako ya kusema ati ati unatetea watu because wanaitanga sisi wajuaji wanakuambia wewe mko wangapi ni wewe na watu wangapi eh ni wewe peke yako eh so yeye yeah, anashika the others they can give 50 to about 20 and they appreciate so who are you that is how that is what they thrive on na wanataka iendelee namna hiyo this is a story you told me about how you took over a church and AIC church yeah. naza tuelezea kidogo <laughs> ile activism yako ilikupeleka kwa kanisa. Unajua watu wenye waende kanisa? Kama bibi, kama wewe. <laughs> Sio ati ati sasa leo eh ati kanisa sasa kanisa ni club. Hakuna me, hakuna kitu ya kumesha ati uliokoka kiasi gani. Hicho wezi wezi pima ati mtu amekuwa saved. Mm. There is no sa- 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 salvation no mita hakuna salvation <laughs> it's what those guys believe in wana amini so eh, kuna eh, kuna Yesu alafu kuna Mungu alafu kuna wajama wengine hapo wengi wengine anasijua anaitwa cho hiyo yote naingia kwa kanisa unakuta wazee iko 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 charge sa sa no connect sa no connect institution So mimi nilikuwa naendanga ama ama nini ya traditionalist na moda um, in between So in my community I used to be nilimendanga church tango yes na church ilikuwa hapo unajua church ilikuwa tunaenda kuna vitu mzuri hapo but are you married ai ni ama chuni ya ama na ama nella uko na watoto wangapi bibi wangapi first of all kidogo uliza kama kibake niko na bibi moja ile na watoto four children two boys and two girls yeah well ages my first one is 23 years i go for the year university amaliza my second born i'm a chain kenya school of law the other day apa amemaliza ako ako parkland sama ako school ako parkland sapa so i think me group ya juice i'm also two year two, 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 i think this is another second man then the Bebo, other one ako first year sai ako the other one ako from four mm. and then the youngest boy ako e class 8 ya mwisho so unaona yeah. mimi ni mzee wewe ni wewe ni mzee Yo, lazima uende kanisa. So, go na family. Kanisa ina shape. Kwanza ni kuambie mtemi. Mm. Kanisa ina control even the way you do things. Najua hata kama unakunywa, wasio anasema ukienda kanisa hapana kunywa na watoto wako. Kunywa na wase. Eh. Sasa wewe wakati unaenda hata kwa hata kwa clubs. Sio kuna clubs ya wase. Hata kama anaenda church kuna club ya wase because utaenda huko dance na msichana wako hawezi kubalika. Unaenda lakini in my church haikubaliki. You don't drink. Kila kanisa ya Mungu, yeah I see. Yeah. Si kama Catholic or the other ones. Yeah. So um, how I did it kwa church you know kuna makosa mingi na fanyiganga hata kwa kanisa like any other institutions. Watu wanakula sadaka, kuna transparency so na i could even tell other people wasiokope kwenda kanisa because currently how at you to amend a church uh, they are the ones who have a say na si community in the community and zia the one was suri sana bana na joni solidarity ni kama ile tunafanyaga and they have the numbers eh they have the numbers so wakati nilifika huko nikaona iko shida hapo kuna transparency cooperation 
na watu wengi wanaogopa wase so you cannot question a church ah so you gonna jita this name you gave me loko wana jita wana jita local lcc local church council na kila church ina kwanga na hiyo so we questioned some of them na jo sasa eh uta sisi kuona sana jo sisi tunachemukanga haraka tunaona hapa iko makosa mingi sana kuna transparency tunaitishwa pesa kila wakati na tusomewi pesa ile tumika aje ukiuliza wanakuambia wewe wewe si hauna rusa ya kuuliza hiyo hujafanya hujafanya wengine wanambia hujafanya harusi uwezi chakulio by the way uwezi ukangia hiyo kikundi kama kama uchafanya wedding kwa hiyo kanisa yes so tukaanza ku question nasema kwa nini wakati wa kutoa sadaka atulisi maswali awaseme kwa sababu uchafanya wedding usitoe sadaka lakini wakati wa kutumia pesa wanakuambia wewe uchafanya 1 2 3 so sisi na wajamaa wengine tulikuwa tunasoma na high school tukaanza kuuliza maswali i think we are, we are around 3 so it's like we saved everybody saved because eh uh, telling them kianza ku introduce uh, sheria ya ileti unasema uh, mrembo kama huyu ati usikuje charge na law atrosa lazima ukuje na kama mtemi na rasta ati sasa ati ile vijana wako na rasta ati akasema uh, hapana so kumbe vijana walikuwa wameboyeka na hiyo ase so wakati tumeanza kuuliza maswali people like the what we are doing and actually become their voices to demand for transparency in resource allocation and resource use including your sadaka hata pastor mwenyewe alikuwa anathinywa na yeye wase <laughs> pastor analipwa pesa kidogo yeah. so tukaambia wazee tumesanya pesa mingi kwa nini mnalipa pastor elfu sita pastor kuna bibi na watoto ada kula aje elfu sita talipa aje rent wazee wakasema hii kasi ni ya kujitole ngamia sawa <laughs> lakini sisi tunatoa pesa hata usiwajitolee basi ni pesa ni ya pesa mna jikawanyia so uh, i think to limit the pasta hata naye pasta akaona hapa Mungu amefika mm. aka side na sisi <laughs> no we had wrangles in the whole church the whole branch it's called this church council So kuna wale wa reforms na kuna wale hawataki reforms. Wanasaliza ka kaonye kama rangabi. So sisi we were so lucky. Wakati wa ikafika wakati wa election. So to mobilize. Wale wa jamaa tulitoa. Hawa. You know tulishinda hawa because everybody supported what we were saying. And then and you know there to you know that is the reason why unaona kanisa nyingine inaanza after nyingine eh kishindwa anaenda kuanza yake so walienda wakaanza yao bado AIC yeah walienda wakaanza na another one another branch eh yenye ni ni some few fellows i love our one dictator so kuna mtu anaenda huko wanakuja mahali kuna reforms <laughs> because kama <laughs> no church ni kusaidiana supposed to be a community yeah it's a community thing like any other society so unajua kanisa ni kwa register under clubs and societies na register of uh, societies. societies yeah, yeah. Mm. lakini watu wenye wajui kama wewe unasema mm. tuende kanisa ni mtu wa kanisa ni siendi zaidi oh, lakini nimeenda kanisa yeah. kuna watu wanasema nimezaliwa wa kanisa nimeenda kanisa yeah. kuna watu siku hizi kuna reforms tumekubali hata kama semani walikuwa wanasema hataki watu wenye wangu na dreadlocks ya dotaki watu wenye wanaonja kidogo. Baadhi wa kale, wa kale mjapenda dreadlock sana. Hapana. Dreadlock ilikuwa anga. Traditionally ilikuwa. Ilikuwa anga. The Morans, the youth the Morans walikuwa na fine including my father. When my son started kutengeneza nywele mwenyako university. So my father wanas akaniambia ile vitu yenye ah yeye alifanya ndio imerudi. Ndio imerudi. Merudi. That's a very positive Sema, attitude. Sema yeah. yeye alikuwa mwanaume kwa na tengeneza dreadlocks na kuweka red hook mchanga ingine red yeah. yeah 
and it was okay. Some of these things are traditional lakini watu wanasema ati watu waelewi. Waelewi wanasema tumeleta ukora. Eh wanasema kwanza wakati wa moyo. Ilikuwa mbaya. Ilikuwa mbaya sana. Ulikuwa unawe sasa. Ndio inaitwa mungiki kwanza hiyo. Anasema ukiwa na dreadlocks wewe unamkora. Ukifaa trosa kama hii mrembo hiyo ni mkora. Naona hii kubran watu. Nasema sasa ukifaa na tai na nini wewe ni mdu mzuri. Naona hiyo mentality. So eh mutemi today I could advise uh, at least let the reforms we cannot change this country if we don't fix come uh, if we don't fix even our own setups come our local churches our local communities you have to begin you know in a semengana that charity begins at home, yeah, at home. as much to anzie yeah up. because uh, that church may attack our most of the things unajua to melus tradition mtu leo akikufa Sebasta ya na kuja kusikanga eh. Atujai kuwa na traditionalist mwenye anakuja kusika. Sio anaitanga pasta. Hata kama jamaa aende kanisa. Hata leo hata 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 ile watu wanakunywaga. Kuna mahali ame cha identify na hata kama aende anasemanga nikikufa pasta fulana anakuja kunisi. Ndio atakuja kunizika. Anafanya ngai anakuanga. Hata 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 kama si yeye ya bibi yake anakuja nduku yake au ya community so see i think it's something nini don't fear that is why to kitaka reforms leo we have to take the war to mahali awa wa jamaa we have to go to mahali wamejivicha na kutoa hawa huko unasema cartels ziko hapo ndani cartels hey wako wengi kwa kanisa the other day mm. kuna kanisa ina kuna na chengo kwa baringo north karibu na kwetu President mwenyewe alikuja akiwa deputy anakuja kuchanga 10 million. Inakulwa na ile cartels na anachenga should structure. Akakuja appeal sio alichanga 7 million. Baka chusa akiwa president alikuja akakuta hii kanisa haichakamilika. <laughs> Akaambia hawa Yesu atakuja na hii kanisa mtamaliza sio mlifanyia nini? Hata yeye alikasirika. Cartels ziko kila mahali. Si ati ni perfect bana. So if we have to, tunasema leo hii watu ni wakora the reason why even the current system so I'm a, i check the church the church propelled them to power the church propelled them to power now if we want to pay them how do, to, 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 how do we change everything we may identify our weakness we kaenda kwa church na kuti identify nao so if tukitaka kutoa hao tutatoa aje tabidi sasa pia tu engage huko mm. because after that tuna engage kutoka huko like in, in, in where i go we tuliambia tutaki hao politicians wa kuja kanisa kama tunataka kuchenga kitu we don't call them for ambi tunasema mutemi to 1500 huyu to 1000 kumi huyu to and then we do it we don't recognize them other wakikuja we don't give them time anakuja kukaa hapo ambaye ukitaka kusalamiana kuongea siasa baada hapa uko nje itamkutana uko nje itamkutana uita nini yako lakini hapa tunafanya vile tunafanyanga ha uh, kuja kama mshirike kama anybody else lakini usikuje platform so that narrative tumeanza wakaona sisi pia ni wa lakini the community wanapenda because tulifanya hivyo because to realize tuki tuki accept pesa yao eh uh, wadatumia kutu invite you know that is very interesting because eh, coming from Mount Kenya it's the complete opposite mm-hmm. when you are organize meetings and wanaita president wanaita nani wana siasa wakuje walete pesa hata huko bado inafanyika lakini not all the nini some few some few nini yenye iko na hiyo reformists no tumeski tumeshikana tunajiongelesha tunasema how do we how do we also gain power let's also use our platforms eh? tell them no you are not in charge 
Uh. So kuna categories. Kuna wenye wako eh bado wanafanya nawa. Kuna wenye wamekuwa independent kidogo. Because to me educate the the the, the to, to me funza the our members kuambia hawa kama huyu ako na shida watu ya kwanza ya kusaidia ni sisi hatuizi ngoja mtu kutoka nje that is why we have to build our own school we have to build our own um, currently we are planning to build our own hospital so that tukiwa na issues pa ile ya public iko lakini tukasema waja tuanze ye then tuna manage we have a control over it the institutions yet so um how our may take over public institutions so how do we counter them have to why don't you run for office i cannot run for office because eh? um kitu ya kwanza you know you have to lasima useme ye uongo mingi which i cannot do it I told someone that someone asked me the same question. Yeah, I cannot do it. Kudanganyana. Kudanganyana I cannot do it. And then also uh, in Kenya sustaining a campaign is very expensive. You have to bribe those fellows. I want to go kweli. Tutaongea kidogo anasema yes umekuwa kutotetea mtemi. Lakini Ebu tuongeleshe mbona mm. mkono mtupu anasema ebu tuongeleshe yana kusema lete now what will you get money to give to all these fellows so part of the problem ni pia this is a community the the corrupt fellows we elected them iwa korayote tunaweka covid the way director for ESCC alikuwa anasema juzi anasema wale wa watu wote wenye tulichakuwa ambao tunasema ni wabaya and sindi tuliweka which is very true so i cannot run for office because it's uh, in Kenya it's wow it's a very damn expensive affair and, and, and i'll ask you a question i always ask yeah. uh, my guests who pays you? Why do you do what you do and who pays you? Nobody pays me. Nanyi na kulipa. Motemi. Najua akona mtu ana. Ikiinchi tunajua pesa. Watu wanafanya kitu. Lazima uko na pesa ya dona. Unakula na tujui. Ai mtemi. Acha nikwambie. Mimi I struggle like anybody else. Uh, part of um kuna kitu tulifanya na jamaa nyingine comrade mwingine tunafanyanga saa ya what focus anaitwa an organization called Kenya Bison Slick mm. CD otieno tunafanya na CD mm. self sufficiency in food production mm. na ku control maneno ya seeds na kuchimamia kichakula because kitu ya kwanza lazima nianzie na kwangu kama sina chakula kwangu ndambia nini watu because kesho nikienda kuomba omba nasema hata ile jamaa anatetea watu wako na shi so najianzia kwanza kama anatuongelesha change na na yeye wako na shida kama amefinyiliwa so nobody pays me i i start nikipata i work hard like anybody else sasa niko na ngombe yangu niko na kashamba hata kama zina naenda ku rent na kuproduce ya kula yangu and i work hard like anybody else so nobody pays me kuna hiyo notion watu wanasema hii watu wako na pesa eh that is the other notion in auto ju 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 unawatetea na unawafanyia hii kazi yote wale elected officials mca zama mps wako na pesa na wako na cdf na world development fund na afanye ile kazi unafanya. Yeah, afanye. You know, uh, sisi tunafanya kama oversight. Tunasimamia because tuna believe we have to bring change in our community. Si lazima pesa ikwe. We can 
we can do even we, can, we, we organize our communities without ikienda fanya mtu kazi anilipe kesho na nanua mafuta naenda ku as part of giving back to my community even that church ile tunaendanga tuna part of our, the trainings kwamba you give out part of your uh, income to support charity work that is what we are doing ajo sisi lazima tungoje wazungu watoke ngambo wakuje tusaidie it's not that Uh, lazima tunguje wasungu we can even do it ourselves you know what i say eh? yeah. as an act, a fellow activist is that hata kama kuna mzungu anakuja kunipea pesa yeah. nifanyie watu wetu kazi yeah. Yeah. shida iko wapi yeah. serikali yetu imejaa madeni kutoka ngambo yeah. kutoka hao wazungu yeah. so afadhali hata mimi na, napewa pesa kama ningepewa i don't have any funding from uh, from wazungu lakini a lot of people assume yeah. niko na funding yeah lakini hata kama ningekuwa nayo iko baya gani kama ningekuwa nafanyia i'd be more effective as an activist or as a mtetezi wa human rights then it's even better if eh, ni, na, napewa pesa hiyo na wazungu although that narrative hutoka kwa government na, na but how how can you do you get support from uh, the community do, do they kuna mtu anakuja anakuambia be what she no, what we do in them. community pia unajua sifanyaki kasi peke yangu kuna watu wasuri pia tunasaidiana nao kama sasa hii kwa mfano kwa hiyo project there are four fellows wana wanasimamia hiyo project sasa zile ziko hao wako na tunatokanga asubuhi tunaenda kusimamia but because our, our intention tunataka watu wa we feel happy eh, when people have water no eh There are, two, there are two schools in my village there is a high school and there it it stay ilikuwa imekabila maji because the 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 the, the, the pole was mismanaged ilikuwa imekaa for around two months walikuwa eh? nanua maji kwa puza zi kwa watu ya kununua maji but we had water so because of mismanagement and nobody followed it until these watu ambao tunaishi mbali kidogo we went back to the village to organize the village hakuna mtu angefanya because ile watu ile watu wenye wali mismanage they, they they could pull the local community they could not ask them questions It's me so hii kasi tunafanya kwa kuchitolea hakuna mtu analipa sisi lakini we do it for humanity because if we don't do it we'll do it what you call our utu yeah utu dignity or yeah. pers- you know personal because, dignity uh, there was a time maji ilikuwa ime before even we had there unakuta because wa mama you know wanaumia sana they could buy a cherikan at for eh uh, a, a, a 20 liters cherikan of water at 50 shillings watu wangapo wako na hiyo pesa especially in the village so, people wanatoa wapi wanaenda bali kutumia boda bodas so uh, because of that wanakunywa maji enda kunywa maji chafu unakuta wamekoa wagonjwa mishiko na typhoid and then the whole thing in arudi kwetu eh? you know the same people are from my community wakikuwa wagonjwa wewe ndio unaitwa bado itakuja tutaenda kujanga maybe amekufa akikuwa mgonjwa lakini tukisolve the issue kila mtu akwe na maji kwa mfano to lessen the problems that we have the health issues so see at tunafanya because we also if you don't improve things it, it bado inagurudia So um hiyo ni hutu ile tunafanya because kwanza tunafanya kama binadamu si ati tunafanya because no, somebody will pay us no tunafanya kihutu yeah. kuna hilo hiyo satisfaction tunafanya kitu mzuri you feel cool kama binadamu the other thing is um you i mean you experience the tail end of moise rule na mpaka ile kubidi kuhepa now we have uh, our watu wa merudi and um, we know they are not very they are not very uh, open to opposition although anasema wanapenda opposition we have a tyranny in power i don't know how you're dealing with that and especially coming from the left valley karenjinland na tuko na president ambaye from all accounts does not entertain 
opposition or criticism especially from what wake mm. how is that yeah uh we've unajua kwanza yeye ni mwanafunzi wa moyo that is why alisema hivyo mambo ngapi tatu hata kwenda mbinguni matatu ama matatu, matatu. Yeah. ama matatu so i know but uh, what i'm proud of these days eh? hata kama yeye ni mbaya list uko na si kama samani squeeze tuko na we even have some quotes we can even question some things si kama samani because that list but uh, the rain of this guy you know it's very painful but the people even the people from that place wamejua si lazima mtu akapila yenu akwe okay most of them walichakua yeye lakini hakuna kiosk za uda huko hakuna supermarket ya watu ya simio na asme na watu ya Kenya kwanza wote tuna tukienda petrol station to know the same other hawa usikuze umeanza kulalamika kwanza operation iko mingi huko kuliko asimio songs because ukitaka kuongea unaambiwa eh acha kupinga serikali si ni kijana yetu lakini there are more people now willing to come out you know we are not alone is a time you alone voices yeah we are not alone squeeze atuko peke yetu at least tuko na watu tumekuwa wengi kiasi so i think of course yeye yeah, atongozi juu anajua mtampatia kura anyway anaenda mm. kutongoza watu wasio yeah hata yeye maendeleo hayezi kuja huko Uh, atuoni ha even uko kwetu paringo hajai fika tangu tumchakue hajai kuja hajai kuja tunaonanga ameenda kwa baba huko Raila ameenda Nyanza ako Masaini uh, Central Mount Kenya has not been there anajua hao watu wameaka box na akona kitu watafanya <laughs> at least uh, lakini the goodness eh? you know initially wakati wa moyo tulikuwa wachache lakini now the voices are growing tuko sasa na more people especially the you know the, the, the elites wenye wamesoma who cannot be swayed you know kuna hao watu who always stand for the truth so despite the fact that tuko wachache you know Kenyans are including the people from Rift Valley wanaanza kuerevuka pole po wameona hapa iko shi now there is a lot of discontent in the crowd kosa watu wanaona eh hey, yes hii mtu huyu mtu ni yetu lakini hatusaidi watu wanafikiria kuna kiosk na supermarket za uda hakuna in fact kama kuna watu wamenyanyaswa ni ni watu ya huko if you can see ile scandal ile ilikuwa ya ile ile ilikuwa ya Loret ile ilikuwa ya Finland the locals hapo ndio wanaumia ukitaka kwenda kwa police station ku report these the same people in power wenye wanakufinya so the people who are suffering even are, are the whole the same fellows wenye wanasema it's our own and i think uh, wameanza kuerefuka kusema no the people of rift valley are not uh, are actually going to pay the price of the leadership of uh, this man because their own people will be in power they will oppress them and they will not have a safe or even avadali watu wa nje you know i told you we had moy for 24 years like in baringo stuko nyuma in in the all of the in all of uh, i was actually shocked that some sections are still as backward even it's so backward it's so backward if you can come to tiat Welcome, welcome. It's mm. so back. You need to come. We other to end Bali huko ndani. Tunaenda hapo Tangul Bay. You will see for yourself. Wata wajui hata Kiswahili. Wanafikia duniani huko. And we had more for 24 years. And the rest of us Kenyans expect them to yeah. to behave like us. Yeah, they would. Waache cultural wrestling, waache nini na ana elimu, ana mashule, ana yeah. development. They would. So even the presidents of William Ruto Kalenjin will suffer 
And then we also started feeling the binge because our own are oppressing us. What we to do are to join us as a so at Atuna Mutuku Lala Mikia because ni ni mocha wetu ndio anatunyanyaza ile akusema eh uh, the i don't know the story of the hax mm. na mti and the tree yeah yeah ni kama hiyo sasa ile hax inasema juu iko na hando ya mti it's one of them it's one of mocha them. wao mti inasema huyu ni one of us yeah Kabla that is what is happening in, that, that is what's happening in mm. uh, rift valley mm. na hapo and you're giving the yeah. example of uh, Yes, hiyo manene ya Finland scandal. The same fellows enye walifanya hiyo ndio wako in power. Na 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 president Rajuku akapigia juu. Yeah. Na nyia ka arrest wa Fuande, madago ka arrest. That was Fuhande. a cosmetic uh, exercise. And those who did that already sasa hivi wamenyamazishwa wamebela kwa ngambo kama most of the focal ones on Beleko. What are you going to protest? So they know to wanna go to silence. So the student ya moi so nothing will will, will change. But people are saying ah tu alikuta uhuru ameharibu nchi let's wait give them time. Lakini wanajaribu ku fix ku karabati. They were not uh, the, 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 that is just a political narrative. Luta was part of Uru. So nothing has changed. I'm going to be badly. So you cannot expect your same at your next shoes. But uh, maybe it's even much worse now. But uh, your next shoes to have some Uru and Yaripa. Now we'll go be quite critical of uh, uh, Ruto's regime. Uh, no, we'll always say the truth. They know we've been profiled for speaking. You know, he kicked out Kwanza Juicy. We had a kitambo. They know we what we stand for. So the same way we took money, that was kitua. Kwanza what I was doing. No, just now kitungi. Kweli, there is nothing mutemi kama kuongea ukweli. What we do now, ukweli, you know. Even if they will want to kill you, they will not kill you. Bele a wat. But angoja wa kwa ichak usiku wa kuenda wa kuwe lagini awezi wa najomu mesema ukwe. Ukwe ni kitu. So ukwe ni tasma matu. Ukwe ni tasma matu. Akuna because wale watu ambao wana tuipi ano watu yetu. Wani yana tu press no watu yetu. Nothing will change unless unless tuko na wa Kenya ambao wanapadilika wana, 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 wana padilika pole pole tuko na watu wengi wa realize kwamba uh, tribes are easy to save idea kwani alikuwa anamwambia hakuna supermarket ya wajaluo ya wakalenjin ya wakikuyu and anybody else au uh, kienda hapo kwa hiyo supermarket hapo au uh, ulizi wewe ni kabila gani say that you have money or not so even some of us whom we have uh, relatives in political positions they will our always our kusaidia kama mko na difference in nyumbani it's even worse now that they are in power they'll use it to oppress you kama ni kuandika hii complaint ya kusema unaandika watoto cheshi watoto kani wanaandika cheshi si ni relatives wao so inakuwa serikali ya hawa so those who have and don't, those who don't have. and sapene it's plain white inaendelea vizuri eh uh, ukandamizaji watoto watoto ambao wanaandikwa kazi yes, sasa hivi kama ni cheshi polisi kwa kwa walimu ni watoto hao watu tu or they are close friends so any other person Kesema Kenya Kenya ni ya kabila mbili ni ya maskini yeah. ni ya tajiri ni tajiri yeah it doesn't kabila, the other kabila is don't matter kama ingekuwa ya kama wewe ni mkikuyu wa kikuyu angapi wanaumia i have several kikuyu friends who are languishing kama walingefaidika so wangefaidika wakati wa Kenya na na, na kibaki na wa president wa tatu eh yeah. yeah. we have several kikuyu who are very poor 
majority actually yeah mm. i even even the notion i even went to nyanza uh, friends nikakuta hata ile kelele ya raila at least you can even find some good roads in nyanza which you cannot find them in baringa uh, the people from luo nyanza have been in the opposition for a long time but they are better off than people in baringa have been there they are so better off counter the other story that Jia Raila watu wa Nyanza waje waje pata maendeleo. Habana. I've been there. Ile kitu imesaidia wa ni eh you know wali soya. Hakuna mtu angewanyanyasa because they had nobody in government so they caught a chance. Ya kuchitetea. So I can say I've been there. The best the, the best people if we are even in Nairobi now. Siniawa they because uh, they got uh, an opportunity to kakuja wakal moi was present wakale wangapo wako nairobi wako because wali they wali finyili awa chini you know that so it's not about your but, tribe but they always wonder you know in nairobi you see uh, you know like you know if you go to leluta utapata wakisi you go to Kawangware you will find lawyers if you go to Kibra you find lawyers Madare you find cooks and lawyers Kuragoshi you find kikuyus where are the kalees in this city kwapi ama wako lovington hawako hawako hako lovington ama runda ama ana maybe ukipata in 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 any kuna moja you'll find maybe the only the, the leaders only in Karen in lovington yeah. of which new york communities yeah lakini most of them wako yeah. but show sure tells you uh, we are not well of the way people think because to ngekwa nairobi you said there are people who are supporting you in the community yeah there are, there are people who have been supporting us if and don't wa chachi wameona tulikuwa tunasema ukweli and they are changing slowly and we have done our part hata kama itakuwa haraka but uh, wame padili, hata wame they'll help us spread that kwamba we have to uh, fight for our rights tujitetee hakuna mtu atatetea na kwamba hakuna kabila kabila ni ngapi bili so tutafanya hivyo we'll, we'll continue soldiering on uh, kutetea and change the way people live hata kama tutamaliza kuna watu wengine watakucha kuendelea what would you call, what would be a call to kenyans in terms of uh, 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 holding our leaders to account and working on our governance yeah we have to uh, kama wa kenya we have to come out and leave uh, put aside the tribal tax and reason uh, tribal tax ile okora yani 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 ile tax ya eh, oyo tax eh, yeah. kusema ati mimi mkikuyu niko tatag ya yeah. 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 that one will not help us mm. if we have to fought let's fought on uh, policies ile inatusaidia kiutu si kabila yeah. you know one of the other big issues in the in the Rift Valley and especially your 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 I mean Baringo uh Kot Samburu the north is the um, the issue of land because a lot of the land there has not been adjudicated is held in trust for communities and there are um there are issues of trying to grab that land uh, how is it manifesting in Baringo Yeah in fact that is uh, that is the big issue now because the conservation narrative that is what is fueling the conflicts here you are seeing in Baringa because the big boys are now coming there with their con- conservation narrative which kwa mashamba ya the community land ila jashorwa and converting in, into conservancies and and that is how the local communities are losing their land the crossing lands they are losing everything but they're saying they are coming to mitigate human wildlife conflict 
that is uh, that is rubbish because uh, Najua wasungu wezi kuja kutufunza conservation na sisi tumekaa na hao wanyama. Hao wameua wanyama kwao. They have killed all the animals in their place. And now they have come and uh, want to teach us how to conserve the animals which we have been living with. So that is, they, they're not helping us. They're just coming to steal the land with the wildlife and everything. Because uh, where we had conflicts before, they've been turned into conservancies. Like uh, around Lake Baringo. There are a lot of upcoming conservancies which are owned by there are some foreigners in conjunction with the, the, the elites, the community elites. And that is how the communities are losing land. So uh, the whole thing is land crapping. Even the, 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 what they say, banditry, it's not about banditry, it's secularly displacing the locals and then coming up with a narrative of conservation. Yeah. And I also. think a hoot with local leaders because how is this viongozi wetu wanafanya nini? Wanafanya na hawa. Yeah, they have shares in the conservancies. Mm. Okay. And you're saying the conflict we are here we are seeing or hearing about in Baringo, Pokot, uh, a lot of northern Kenya, Isiolo, Masabit, it's all about displacing communities so that the land can be grown. Yeah, it's about displacing, you know, the areas have very good lands, the range lands, the best lands, where lives to guard and everything. So, um, because of the literacy levels of the communities, they are being displaced and their lands turned into conservancies without their knowledge. And they are losing it uh, mm. very fast. Mm. Yeah. So you start a conflict, people move, and then you take over the land. That is what's happening. That's what's happening in it. That's happened elsewhere. It's now happening in Baring. We have seen it. Communities used to live in bees. They used to intermarry. They used to share markets. But after the, 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 the conservation narrative came on board, suddenly there are conflicts and incitement. What can we do about all these issues as Kenyans? Uh, yeah, we will let people know and then we register the community land so that people own their land. Mm. Yeah. So thank you so much, uh, Isaiah Bort. Thank you, Matan. Uh, this conversation has not ended. We've just starting uh, because uh, you continue working with communities uh, and we are highly highlighting the Wazalendos, the, what I call Wazalendo Halisi, uh, who work from a Nutu perspective, who work from... Um, dignifying communities uh, and are not driven by money. And uh, I thank you for the work that you're doing. Um, thank you. And I want to let you know that we appreciate you. Um, sometimes as an activist, you can feel like you're all alone, but I want to let you know you're not all alone. Thank you. Tell me. Uh, Asante sana. Thank As you for making time. Asante sana. Yeah.